Hey everybody, it's Glenn. Following on from my previous video in which I showcased my Morbius Unbound custom action figure, I'm back now with part two of Vampire Wars and it's Vampire Spider-Man. And here you can see my custom figure with the Pre-Legends Toy Biz Vampire Spider-Man. So as you saw from seeing the two figures side by side, my custom action figure isn't a direct translation of the Toy Biz Vampire Spider-Man, and I'd consider it more of a interpretive piece, just using the concept of Spider-Man becoming a vampire as a launch pad to do something creative and interesting. And speaking of concepts, I'll just read to you the card back from the original Toy Biz Vampire Spider-Man, as it describes his origin and it's just something I had in mind when I was working on my figure. Okay, here we go. Bitten by the mutated vampire Morbius, Spider-Man gains the strength and powers of a vampire himself. With his all-new vampiric abilities, Spider-Man becomes a powerful creature of the night, Vampida. So my Vampire Spider-Man custom figure began life as a Spider-Man Origins Demo Goblin. It was one of the first lines released just after Hasbro took over the Marvel license from Toy Biz, and the Demo Goblin figure used the same body that Toy Biz used for the Spider-Man Classics Hobgoblin, and also used in the Marvel Legends Sinister Six box set. And the body there was used that time as the Green Goblin. All other parts used came from a Doctor Who Krillotane figure, including the wings. And of course, with such a wonderful wingspan, I couldn't resist drilling a hole in the back of the figure for a flight stand. To show Vampire Spider-Man off to his best effect. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.